हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दिस इज कुलदीप हेयर एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द डिफेक्ट लीकेज इन सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्टिंग इट इज वन ऑफ द फेमस इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एज वेल एज द पार्ट ऑफ टुडे सेशन आई वुड लाइक टू कवर द बिलो पॉइंट सो फर्स्ट वी विल सी लाइक वट डज इट मीन बाई डिफेक्ट और बग लीकेज how to calculate the defect leakage then i will talk about what are the causes of defect leakage in the last we will see how we can prevent the defect leakage okay so i hope uh, you are clear with the agenda for the today's discussion okay so let's quickly start so first let's try to understand that what does it mean by defect leakage in software testing so basically defect leakage is a metric that is used to identify the efficiency of the software testing which means how many defect are slipped or missed during the qa testing process so it have comes on the client side so once we have delivered the project to customer and during the testing process on the customer side if customer reports any defect that is called as the defect or the bug leakage so i hope you are clear with this point let's move to the next point how to calculate the defect leakage okay so this is the formula for calculating the defect leakage so defect leakage equals to number of the defect found in uat so uat stands for the user acceptance testing divided by the number of defects found in qa testing multiplied by 100 so now let's understand this with the below example so let's consider that in the uat customer has reported the 10 defect and 200 defects were found during the qa testing process so the defect leakage would be 10 divided by 200 multiply by 100 equals to 5% so basically the defect leakage percentage is 5 for this particular scenario so like it is a responsibility of all the team member that there is a minimum defect leakage okay and uh, like it is always good to have this value as low as possible right now let's talk about what are the reason of defect leakage and how we can prevent it there are a couple of reasons first is ambiguity in the requirement so sometimes the requirement is not clear at all so it is very vague and uh, it is too difficult to interpret what we are supposed to develop and test okay so how we can prevent it we should enforce for the clear requirement it is the responsibility of all the stakeholders that they are providing the correct requirement to the team members so that they have the clear understanding like what they need to develop what they need to build as well as like what they need to test okay coming to the second point so second point says poorly designed test cases due to misunderstood requirement the requirement is very complex or like the requirement is not clear at all in that case actually we are not able to write the good test cases so as we are not writing the good test cases so which means like we are missing something there will be the defect leakage for sure how we can avoid it we need to come up with the good functional test cases cover the negative scenarios as well failover scenarios and if there is a requirement for the non functional testing so we also need to include in our test cases okay so let's talk about the third point so third point says absence of the test cases review process as we all know like the test cases review process is one of the very important area during the testing activities so we should make a standard practice that the test cases are getting reviewed by the product owner or the business analysis okay so if there is any corner cases are missing so they can share their feedback to us and as a qa 
we need to incorporate those changes in our test cases. Our next point is test and UAT environmental differences. Sometimes there are differences in the test environment and the UAT environment. So in that case, we should try to mimic the UAT environment in house. It will reduce the number of defect because we will be testing in the similar kind of environment which customer will be using. Okay. Let's move to the next point, incorrect test data. We are not using the correct test data. And as we are not using the correct test data, so we will not come across the issues which customer is reporting. So in that case, if there is a possible, so we should try to get the dump from the client side. Uh, we can restore the database on our local environment. And uh, we can do the testing on same kind of data. So again, it will be reduce the chances of getting the defect on the customer environment. Okay. So guys, that's it for today's session and I hope it is helpful. Thank you for watching my channel. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you so much.